What's going on, y'all? I'm here to talk about the buffs and changes I've made to Sandy Shocks for my ROM hack, Pokemon Scrambled Scarlet. So if you've never heard of this ROM hack before, or you've never seen my channel before, shout out to you. I appreciate you clicking on the video. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Um, I highly recommend you stick around and uh, check out my other videos after this one. You can also join my Discord and check out the Google Sheets, all linked down below. But don't do that just yet, because it'll mess up the watch time. And, you know, don't do me like that. It'd be cool. Uh, if you also subscribe, if you're new here, if you do like this style of content and this type of ROM hack, it helps support my work. Uh, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment if you're if you're returning. I appreciate all my returning viewers. But yeah, this is the Google Sheet that you can see on screen. You can click it and it'll take you. And you can check out all the move categories. It'll help you understand the move buffs and changes, which of course is a very fundamental aspect of how the game works. Uh, but with all that being said, Sandy Shocks has some really cool changes. And lastly, also, read the description down below if you're a new viewer. Um, it'll give you really important context for how the ROM hack is balanced and why it's balanced in the way it is. So definitely give that a read. Um, it'll answer a lot of your questions and give you some context. But with that all being said, got Sandy Shocks here. You know, the GOAT. He's got the unique electric ground typing. If you want to learn more about Magneton and Magnazone and you haven't seen this video already and you're not coming straight off of watching this one, uh, make sure you check that out after this one. I have a video going through Magneton and Magnazone and their changes and how those work. So those are really cool. But um, yeah, Sandy Shocks is super cool. Uh, obviously, it's much faster than Magnazone naturally and even Magneton. Um, of course, 107 while fast is not that fast unless you get a plus speed nature. But without a plus speed nature, you're only hitting like, I don't even think you're, you're, you're actually, I know this for a fact. You're not outspeeding base 90 on the AI with 107. Because I know 108 is like slightly below 90, if I believe, if I remember correctly. So, unless you get plus speed nature, you're not that fast, so you're still going to be running to, wanting to run Scarf a good amount of times. But it's not a bad thing, of course. You've got a very nice typing, very good bulk overall. It is frailer than Magnazone. Um, but it is bulkier than Magneton on the special side, I believe, because of the high HP. Um, of course, Magneton, Magneton, uh, Magneton, yeah, Magneton is less bulky, but of course the typing is different, and Magneton can hold a Violite. But it's, the point is, Sandy Shocks has some really good bulk to it as well. Um, and then, of course, I also made a special attack and a middle, a middle ground, essentially, between Magneton and Magnazone. So Magnazone's got 145, and Magneton has 120, so Sandy Shocks is halfway, 133. Uh, they've got Protosynthesis, which is obviously great, which I'll cover more in a bit. And then Galvanize has some really cool moves. So Galvanize is really fitting, given that they're literally like Magnet Pokemon, right? Um, so they've got the big funny Hyper Beam, which is essentially Draco Meteor uh, for 150 base power. So with Galvanize, it's 180. That's obviously a late game move. However, Tri Attack is actually relatively early on. It's five levels after you evolve. If you look at the boss fight guide on the sheet, you can check out all the level caps and stuff for the boss fights, um, and that'll help give you some context for what levels the moves are legal. So yeah, level 50. I mean good amount of boss fights you get try attack for and that is a really strong multi-hit move that can break through focus sashes and other stuff um so that's really really strong uh and then of course if you get that lucky plus speed nature sandy shocks goes even crazier but even without it it's still a great pokemon and then of course if you need extra speed and for example you're using your choice scarf on a different pokemon on your team because of item claws you can always take advantage of uh, volt rush so volt rush is great if you set up the terrain yourself either with another pokemon or with sandy shocks themselves or if you get lucky enough to have an electric surge mon but you know there's a good amount of in this hack then you'll go even crazier but um yeah volt rush is super super cool because uh, obviously it lets him switch moves while Choice Scarf doesn't. And you can even use Booster Speed or uh, Speed in the Sun, like Protosynthesis in the Sun. So if you put the stats in, you can definitely EV uh, to have your Special Attack be lower than your Speed. You will be sacrificing a lot of power, but a lot of the times you might not need that extra EVs anyways. So yeah, you're, you're only hitting you're, with 40 Speed EVs basically. Sorry, Special Attack. Uh, you can get a plus one boost, a Speed Boost from Protosynthesis, and then you can switch around your moves and click all these high base power moves and stuff uh ancient force is also a great little tech option for certain coverage options they already have i mean electric ground is great dual stab and of course you've got some coverage like power jam uh meteor beam psychic noise and dazzling gleam and even body press but other than that you know uh weather ball in in the sun is very very strong if you're running this thing in the sun so you can do manual sunny day same as electric terrain so this guy really likes both terrain and weather um which is really cool i like pokemon that have like multiple abilities like that that work that way. Um, Electro Shot is insane with Volt Rush, and Steel Beam is also insane, and Meteor Beam. So all three of those beams are moves <laughs> are crazy with uh, the Volt Rush active, uh, because essentially, well, even even Protosynthesis Booster Speed with Steel Beam is crazy and takes way less work. So for example, you run this EV spread, uh, assuming that you have Neutral Nature and Special Attack and Speed, which most likely you will. Um, and then you, if you get plus Special Attack, it's actually impossible to get Booster Speed, which is kind of a shame. So uh, if anything, that might be more, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, 
Parabolic Charge, you know, this thing can be great bulky-wise too, you know, you can slap an AV on him for certain boss fights to take certain hits, and then Parabolic Charge all your HP back, you've got priority in the form of Mudshot and Shockwave, you've got tons of good debuffing moves, utility moves, Metal Sound, drop special stats by minus two, um, but in the, in the sun, this guy's super cool because he's got that Solar Beam and that Weather Ball and that Electric Ground Stab, so that's super fun. But back on topic with the Protosynthesis Steel Beam. So Steel Beam gives you plus one special attack now on top of being a super, super strong move. So it's kind of like Meteor Beam and Electro Shot. However, it doesn't require you to hold um, a Power Herb, which is insane because then you can run booster energy. Uh, you don't even need to run sun at that point. You can just slap the booster on with that EB spread and then get that plus one from steel beam, kill something, and now you're plus one and you can click all your you know dual stabs and your plus one speed from the booster. So you're basically plus one, plus one, and it didn't take any turns to set up because you're clicking an attacking move, you know? So that's all super dope. Um, again, it's a versatile Pokemon. It can be used bulky or um, just purely offensive, speedy sets. It really is up to you. Um, Galvanize is pretty one-dimensional, it's, it's pretty much only for Tri Attack and Hyper Beam. All the other stuff is like very niche, like Explosion is not balanced, Joy Nuzlocke at all, obviously, but it, it's insanely strong. I mean, Galvanize Explosion, if you're playing casually, is a fun button to click for sure, uh, but it's definitely not, yeah, uh, intended as like a player option. It's just there, because it's there. Uh, Rising Voltage in Terrain is very strong, of course, Champ Bamable 120 power. Of course, they have stuff like... Uh, high voltage and late, later in the game, but that can't be spammed twice in a row. Meanwhile, high, uh, rising voltage can be. And then I gave them Zap Cannon later on because I want them to take advantage of Galvanize if they want that big nuke. Uh, because you get Hyper Beam in the mid 50s on average. If you look at the level caps, seven badges, 53 to 58. So you will have Hyper Beam much earlier than Zap Cannon. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I like having them have to use Galvanize for that big, big nuke. Not that like they're weak without the nuke move. It's just if you want that specific extra oomph to one shot something specific. Um, yeah, uh, Electro Shot and Meteor Beam obviously very strong in terrain with Volt Rush and Power Herb. Um, Terra is obviously very fun on him. Whatever Terra type you get would be super cool to abuse uh, Terra if you want to read more about that in the description. It's RNG'd, so that's cool. Uh, Electro Ball gives you plus one speed. That's also super great. Um, yeah, very straightforward Pokemon. Uh, again, if you want more information, I guess I can explain the flavor behind the moves, but I mean the uh, abilities, but I feel like they're all pretty obvious. Like again, Galvanize is a magnet type of guy. And then uh, Volt Rush, I mean, his whole entire thing is like being grounded. Like he is Magneton, but he's on the ground, right? He's like connected to the ground. So having a terrain ability is really fucking cool. Um, Electric Surge is a bit boring because you've already got Galvanize and I think uh, Galvanize is way cooler with that Tri-Attack because Tri-Attack is like previously Magneton's signature move. So I think that's really cool, uh, personally, to give them that super, super strong try attack. I think it's really unique. Not to mention that multi-hit move breaking sashes and stuff is super, super useful. It also breaks things like uh, multi-scale and all that crap as well. So that's really good. Um, I've covered pretty much everything. I mean, you got obviously your pivot moves. You've got some utility like screens, uh, iron defense. Uh, I would say most importantly, you've got like heal moves like parabolic charge and then recharge is also super good on bulky sets because again, electric ground is actually has some really unique resistances. Um, oh my god, there we go. Uh, so you resist flying, rock, steel, and poison, which is pretty good. Obviously, Magnezone resists, all, resists or is immune to all those things, so it's not like it's unique over Magnezone, but it's like you still have good defensive traits on top of being a much easier to use offensive Pokemon than Magnezone is. Of course, Magnezone still has that Volt Rush and other stuff, so it's really up to you which of the two you think is cooler, which of the two you, you think fits on your team better, and which of the two you'd rather use. Um, of course, you could be more tactical about it and, you know, look at your teammates and uh, the boss fights that are coming up and decide based on that. But it's all balanced around team locked anyways, so choosing which to evolve into is definitely a big decision. Um, or keep Magneton itself, you know, again, watch the video on, uh, on that if you want to know why you would ever do that. But yeah, um, Mud Bomber is also a good move that is uh, stronger than Earth. So Earth Power is just flat out. Oh my god. I'm going to get comments about no Earth Power. That was just a fucking typo. I just forgot to write it down. That's crazy. Yeah, of course they get Earth Power, man. That's hilarious. I know people are going to be like, what about Earth Power, man? Oopsie. Fucking 10 minutes in, dude. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, no, they get Earth Power, man. Um, so, sorry, I just got to fix the format. Can I color this in, please? Thank you. Uh, but Mud Bomber is stronger than Earth Power. It is just uh, more... So you can't run like Scarf Mud Bomber and get two kills in a row with Mud Bomber. You have to switch out because Mud Bomber, like all the other Surging Strikes and Wicked Blow variants, will uh, be will fail if you use it twice in a row. So that's cool. Um, 
yeah, super strong though, of course, that also breaks sashes. So you have both Mud Bomber and Tri Attack, Electric and Ground, Dual Stab, that both break sashes. So that's insane. Super, super useful. Of course, Magnazone has that as well, but Magneton doesn't have Galvanize. So if you want that Galvanize Tri Attack on a fast Pokemon, then there you go, Sandy Shocks, because he can Scarf and Sash Cheese and Multi Scale Cheese and all this other stuff. Well, Magnazone needs to be. Uh, I mean, Choice Scarf Magnazone, I already covered in his video, isn't actually that bad. It's pretty solid, but this is obviously Pat's beating everything with Choice Scarf, so. That's really good. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. Let me know if you made it to the end. Shout out to you if you did. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, I could have thrown on some other covers moves like Energy Ball and Aura Sphere and uh, Focus Blast, which I do actually see on them. But I think forcing cool things like Solar Beam is nice uh, in the sun. And I don't know. I think it's kind of cool for them to still have limited coverage. It's kind of like Magnazon, Magnazon's vibe, I guess. Um, and it's not like they have no coverage. I mean, Electric Ground Stab is already great. And then again, you've got that Weather Ball, that Solar Beam, that uh, Flash Cannon, that Power Jam. Psychic Noise, Dazzling Gleam, you've got enough coverage, so yeah, they're chilling. Um, overall, Pokemon, Fast Mon, cool abilities, fun to use. Yeah, let me know if you made it to the end. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate you if you did, and I'll be back for more coming up. Peace, y'all.